The antidote to the scourge virus was rolled out to all military personnel. But soon, reports came in that small clusters of these beings had been sighted elsewhere on Domus. As the Blessed Sisters worked to secure the main city, the Human Defence Force were called out to the outbreak centres. Smaller populations were disorganised and easier to clear out, only spawning a few grossly mutated monstrosities without logic or reason. However, the force that had come of the medical complex had raised the intelligent Dreadarch species and the outbreak was coordinated. They had retreated after being forced back by the sisters, but the Human Defence Force pursued them into a dense forest. Alright, welcome back to Don't Think Just Charge. I'm Dave. I'm Ed. And welcome to this week's video, where first up we have got the Human Defence Force reeling from their catastrophic loss to the Dark Elf Raiders. And it's kind of a game of, um, of back footers here, I think, because uh, we've got them versus the Scourge, who also massively lost in their last matchup as well. So, um, oh, uh, spoilers for the previous videos, but you should have watched those videos first. So if you didn't, then I guess you already know the outcome, but click there and you can go back and watch them. There's also some really good rolling in it and uh, a, a really, really special guest appearance. And I think he might be making an appearance again today. We'll see if we can get him, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your interaction, all the likes, the comments, and our subscriber count is going up. Yeah, if you if you enjoy this video, then just keep doing what you're doing. The likes, the comments, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are closing in on a thousand subscribers now, and we're 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 getting pretty pumped about it, aren't be we? Really amazing if we could hit that number. So please do give us all of your support. But for now, for today, let's have a look at the armies. <laughs> Human Defence Force list is very straightforward. We have got two units of infantry squads. Both of them have got a single drum rifle in there for some rending attacks. One of them is led by our company leader. And of course, she has got the take aim buff. In the middle there, we have got a unit of three weapons teams, all with laser cannons. And in the back, this time with reinforced armor, I swear, uh, we've got two of our light APCs with laser and heavy machine guns. And this time, they're not going to crumple like paper. For the Scourge, this is the same list as last time. However, Blue Art Minis did, um, after our last game, they went and let me know that they've now added in a load of options for the extra like 10, 15, 40 points. So now I'm using their official list and you guys can go and use that too. It's really good. So as before, we have the Dreadarch Strain 2, the caster there with his unit of Dark and Thralls. Then also in the front, we have the second Scourge, fast, just kind of basic, but like, Lots of attacks, really. Then behind the, the second scourge, we have Thraxis Leech. Plenty of wounds, ambush, bit of shooting, and some AP2 attacks are nice. Then over next to them, the big guy is the Abyssal Juggernaut. Terrifying looking guys. And uh, yeah, bit of ranged and a good attack. Then we have the Dreadarch Strain 4 at last, who just have a good amount of shooting. And because of the Blue Art update, they now have an explodes rule where if they even if they survive a combat they just instantly explode and deal a load of damage to the attacking units so that should be interesting so here we are again let's go through the mission and extra rules the deployment for this game is opposing forces on page 21 of the advanced rules the scoring was progressive and based on the twists and gambits section on page 45 of the advanced rules We'll mention how this works as we go, but for now, there are five objectives on the board, with one being in each deployment zone. Finally, as I had 160 points extra, Dave gets three underdog points, which allow him to adjust the result of a roll by plus or minus one each time it's spent. Okay, right, just want to double check if these guys have Strider, Second Scourge. Uh, they don't, so, that, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have to put them like this and hope that... They don't get shot at. Good chunk. Very nice. Well, they're behind the terrain, so yeah, and with, with this you blocker, get I'd have yeah. to be like... They'll, they'll be away. We'll find a way. My commander, Antonia von Roth, is in her transport, in her APC with her squad, and she is going to use an action, which is to tell the tank, take aim! So before I do anything, Dreadarch Strain 2 is going to cast Synaptic Frenzy. This is in the spellbook, so we only need threes to go off. One success, so I'm going to roll two dice and hope it works. So it's two friendly units with 18, get plus one next time they charge. Uh, so, at least one three, please. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I saw a one. <laughs> I got hopeful for the miscast. 
I'm going to give it to this unit. Yep. And this unit. And then I'm just going to kind of keep these guys a little bit safe. My guys are all kind of like scary, but also a little bit squishy. So I'm trying to like, you know, play, Tactics. play things a little bit safe. And that's them done. Might live to regret this, but we'll move my <laughs> APC up to here. We are within 30 inches. We have the benefit of take aim. And so with the APC, we will launch all of its everything into the Juggernaut. AP3, hitting you on threes. And these are AP1. Sixes. Very good. So fours. Nice. Boo. I think these guys are now just going to run up because they don't really have any good targets. I have 18 inches. So like a six inch. Yeah. Uh, I put that there. APC is going to fire at the second Scourge. This is just hitting you on fours with AP one and three, so I'll do it all together. Yay, two Good. dead. He's going to keep the objective, so he's just going to kind of shuffle up to there. I can just go six to here. And like one to there. And then. 11 to here and four. I, th I think I'm just out. And even if I'm in range, it'll be pretty much one dude who gets there. Yeah. That's all of my activations. At the end of turn one, the second Scourge have claimed this one. The Abyssal Juggernaut has claimed this one. Then we have this one claimed by the infantry squad and this claimed by the APC. We've got one out here in the middle of nowhere that still hasn't been claimed. Because we both have the same number of objectives, we've both scored the same amount. It is four and four. So there are no twists to be had now. Twists basically mean that one person who's tra trailing behind in points is going to get a bit of an advantage, so it stays even. We've had a few good wounds on this guy so far, which is a bit scary. Other than that, everyone's kind of just chilling, really. Very friendly, very friendly game so far. Gonna, Let's see if it carries on. Gonna way. kill you soon. <laughs> Making me do some some of the thinkings. I think I'm just gonna start. See if I can just take a unit out. Yeah, going for the munch. Hey, Hitting rubbish. On fours. Uh, it's five dead. Hit me on fours. Oh, out of the dice box. Ah, <laughs> ah, David. <laughs> there we go. Defense is only four up. Oh, we okay. get a wound. Safes. Morale check. No, nothing I can do about that. That unit's just dead, though. Oh, dear. So I can go up to there. All right. Right, they're all going to fire at the Thraxus leeches. Mm -hmm. We are looking for fives. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's, uh, that's uh, my activation done. Human Defense Force doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move these guys forward. And they're gonna shoot at that tank. Acidic Nematocysts. Yep. Two attacks each, hitting on threes. I'm going to spend my underdog points to subtract one from each of your rolls there. It's only three Cool, it's only three hit, yep. Yeah. Uh, four ups. Oh, very nice. Oh, <laughs> much <laughs> use of that. Yeah, that was, that was bogus. Very nice. I think we're going to deploy Antonia von Roth. She is going to tell this APC to take aim. Yep. And then that unit will fire entirely at the Dreadarch Strain 4s. Two rending hits on four ups. Okay, so the rend. Oh. <laughs> Down to a three up. Uh, okay. Well, I'm AP1, so it's back to four. Ups. Oh, okay, back to four up, so two wounds. Uh, I'm going to underdog that as well. <laughs> Let's do it. I think spending these points early is important. Okay, so it's like that. Oh, can they? Oh. Can they tickle it? I think they can. Yeah. Very nice. Could you imagine a 19? So now? 19. Yeah, that'd be four. Four. Looking like chumps at the back. All four of them have. Two attacks each, they have a more and a, a claw. In on fives with poison. Uh, that's one wound. But please don't shake. We're fine. Hey. That was close. What I want to do is get to here. By doing that, I could test the point and stop oh, you nice. taking it. 
These are AP3, these are AP1. AP3, sixes, so fives. They're gonna have to run through terrain so they won't get in range just yet, but they can get basically to the edge of terrain there. Yes. I'm gonna try one that's not in my spell book, so that means it goes off on fives. Yep. Synaptic haste. Target two friendly units within 12, move plus two next time they advance, or plus four next time they rush charge. I lose dice at the end of the turn anyway, so I think I'll just try and make sure it goes off. Oh! Ah! Way. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will forego the possible benefits of... That's 12. I'll move just outside of 12. My main threat is outside of your 12-inch charge range. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yep. Firing at this guy again. AP three shots. And these oh. are AP ones. Uh, sixes. Fours. Out the box. This could be big. Ah! Uh, Underdog uh, point ain't gonna do it today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna come up to there. So hitting on fours. One okay. hit. Oh, what do we cancel that one? At the end of turn two, my home objective has stayed as mine. Also, this one has stayed as mine. Dave cleverly managed to get his guy within three inches, so this is now contested, and he's kept that one. This one is still kind of out in no man's land and not claimed. The twist that we've rolled is that Dave now gets to choose one of my units to get minus one to defense. Yeah. He also has first activation this turn, so this is someone really considering their options and where the effect is going to be the best. So talk you through, even before that, everything that's going on in my mind right now, which is that I'm behind on victory points, so I need to be taking either bodies off the board or points. So for that point, Thraxus leeches are a pretty juicy target. At the same time, threat ranges are really relevant here. My unit with the commander in, I probably want to be activating her first to get the buff out because I don't know if she's going to live for the rest of this turn. It's getting pretty spicy here for the HDF. At the same time, the HDF have got the bonus objective of taking out the fatty on the board and he's on half of his wounds, so I could be targeting everything at him. Mm -hmm. So I think my prime targets are the Thraxus Leeches and, and the, the Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah. So I'm thinking now then, between the two of them, which am I, which of my units am I starting with? It's not gonna be these guys, they're quality five, they are pretty, nah. <laughs> it's gonna be between these two, I think. Either the tank shooting at the Juggernaut, them shooting at the Juggernaut, or them shooting at something else. It could be that I still put the hex on the Juggernaut, and then I try and shoot these guys off the board, or shoot the second Scourges off the board and activate her first. I get the buff out on these guys and see how that goes. I just, oh. I think it's actually a bit more like this then. I think this is the plan. I think it is activating her. Yep. I think it is putting the buff on the APC here, putting the hex on the juggernaut. Okay, we're doing it this way. We're doing it this way, folks. We're actually, we're playing for the killers. So here is my turn after much thinking. The hex is going on the juggernaut. My commander's got a pistol. So she will fire at the second scourge. Yep. Everyone else in this unit will fire at the Thraxus Leeches. Four ups with AP nothing. That's still two hits with AP nothing on the second Scourge. Fives. Very good. Good yeah. shooting, Antonia. Before we do the drum rifle, so these are hitting you on fours. I'll do the rending ones as well, yeah. which is two hits with AP nothing. Oh, so sixes. Very Ooh. nice. <laughs> Wait, the Thraxus Leeches are defense five. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, so they would have been fives. So only one save still. Great, still good. Still good. And then no AP is um, fours. One save, one pass. So so I think that might be the unit gone because that's four wounds and this unit had four wounds <gasps> exactly left. Perfect. Okay, so two attacks each, six guys, hitting on fives. Womp womp. Fives, no AP. It's two hits. So fives. So five up. We're shaken. We're going to go for the, this thing, which is to be outside of three of this. In fact, let's get in the way a little bit. These are AP3, hitting you on threes. These are AP1. So AP3, six up as it would. No! <laughs> Stop! Four up goes to a five up for the, oh, oh, in for the, the AP1. Oh, good. It takes a wound. A four up. <laughs> oh, decisions. That's it, I'm doing it. I think you have to. I like. 
Get, That's just the perfect. Get underdog. That doesn't come out right. That now becomes a three. And my guy is shaken. Look at all these things. Psycho Acid Blast needs two successes to go off. Ooh, that's going to be oh, two, though, if it's in your book. Anyway. Yep. Uh, nope, that's three damage. I'm going to use the rest of them on Psychic Screech. Target enemy within 12, takes 12 hits. Three successes, which it gets. Nice. One, two. He's alive <laughs> on one. He's alive <laughs> on one. Four up. Oh. Uh. Coming out of here, mm -hmm. about here. We've got the line of sight. We're going to shoot at the Dread Arc Strain 4s in cover. AP3 on four ups. And these are AP1s. Cover bit sixes anyway. Whoop. Nice. So there's one. Cool. I think they're just going to shoot with this unit here. Threes. Ooh. Only two hits, but they are AP2. Uh, they don't ignore cover or anything, obviously. Five ups. It's two dead. My last activation is activating and unshaking these lads. Cool. And then I'm the same for the Juggernaut. And I got one, two, three for destroying something. So I'm up to nine. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah. For controlling more. So you're on 17. For this round, the Twist is Conqueror's Boon, which is that objective number one is worth an extra VP. Uh, I am playing thoroughly uphill here as a human defense force. Bringing this guy round the corner to here. And firing a very narrow line at the Juggernaut. These are AP3 hits. These are AP1s. Go five. That's really Whoa. good. Oops. Three ups. Oof. Still takes one. Okay. Is he going to shake? This uh, is important. Four or more. Go! Yes! Oh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably just going to see if these guys can finish off these guys first. Yeah. That's fair. Hitting on fives. Four attacks back on fives. Nothing. Do we shake? Yes, we shake, sadly. So they are going to hold, she's going to tell them to take aim, and we're mm -hmm. firing everything at the Juggernaut. The drum rifle, which has rending. Any sixes here? No. Threes. Two fails for him to go off the board. <laughs> so these guys probably don't need to charge. They're just going to, like, move up, make sure there's no... weirdness with um, getting onto this objective. I suppose it's time for our favourite segment then, Do Think Then Charge. Today, it would be prudent to take a look at movement in one page rules. Let's take a look. In this game, we had three such examples of why considering movement is important. First of all, early doors I moved my infantry squad into such a position where I measured that they were outside of that nasty 16 inch charge range of the second scourge. <sighs> Secondly, considering the important and delicate art of decorum, I clearly measured to my opponent Edward that I was moving my APC to be outside of the dreadful 12 inch charge range of his juggernaut. <sighs> Remember to be polite, children. And thirdly, and here's the real cookie, when you are planning the movement of your most important unit, such as Edward and his Dread Arc Strain 2, and those nasty gribbly... those things, make sure you're considering movement across the board, and you don't just stick them up one flank, doing squat nothing all game and getting stuck in difficult terrain. Ultimately, don't be crap. <sighs> Cheerio! <sighs> You're relying on spell casting to finish And then, off. yeah, we're going to do that. So I think the first one is going to be Psycho Acid Blast. Needs two successes on threes. It goes off. Come on, six up. Oh! <laughs> we're still in it. Oh, I use more dice because... So I need all of these to be successes for Psycho Acid Screech. Yes! <laughs> and you didn't charge! And I didn't charge. Oh, I, I trusted the psychic! 
play. Never trust the psychic. Um, and then yeah, I'll uh, unshake. So <laughs> he can handle. He can test the subjective <laughs> yeah. this round. Oh damn it! I was so trusting in the twelve hits and the AP four and. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's rolled. Fatty McFatterson has rolled a lot of sixes on his. Uh, where we've yeah. had AP threes go again. Yeah, he has. Give the human defense force a break. Yeah. <laughs> um, Screw it, they're just going to see if they can take him out. Yeah. Have you remembered the bonus objective? <laughs> yeah. Four shots with AP2 trying to take out the tank for the so bonus objective. on threes. Ooh, could be big. AP2. AP2, so... Four ups. Oh, <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> No! Oh, no! That's actually <laughs> important. That is. That, that can... Because I now unshake. You now unshake. Neither of us... Somehow, neither of us has scored the bonus scored objective. The That's mad. And look at all the damage on these things. Oh, you needed one more crazy. on this yeah. guy. I needed two more, and I did, oh, we haven't put it down. I needed one more on your juggernaut. Oh, did he get another win? He went up to eleven, but it wasn't the twelve, so it wasn't enough because yeah, we, both of our bonus objectives within one wound of being achieved. Let's count up what's happened on the boards. The scourge control. One objective in their homeland. So they go up to 19 for two. The tank not dying was important because it contested objective two. Of course, over here, more brutality. Objective four is contested. Let's count. So nobody wiped out any units this round as well, which was, again, really important. Mm -hmm. So the human defense force get two for that, two for that objective. That's plus four. But then another one. Another one because that one was the Conqueror's objective. Yep. And another one because okay. we control more than you. Oh, yeah. So the final score is 15 to 19. That was a really That's close so, game. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, thoughts, this immediate is... thoughts on the spot of progressive scoring and OPR. Really cool, actually. When you use the twists and, you, and it like balances everything out so that like you don't just run away with a good score. Because that, that changed that, didn't it? Your oh, did. twist managed to, like, the extra point here, the defense there, like, yeah. It could have been a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost makes me wonder as well if in round one, I wanted to not take a point so I could force myself to be the underdog to try and get that. There's there's more interactions there than is. we've even given it credit for so far, yeah. So, definitely. Very good. Right. But, I mean, that was a, like, weirdly non-brutal game like yeah people are still alive. how many units are left on the board this is ridiculous we both lost one full unit uh yeah and then that's it that's it good game okay the human defense force are struggling i think as they're the new army with less units but we'll see some good shit from them soon i think they're saving up all those points for the next wave of releases and it's gonna be so cool if you watched all the way to the end, then you're a real one. A scourge space virus is cuddling your immune system as we speak. So what did you think of the progressive scoring and twists and things like that? Tell us your thoughts and whether you're enjoying the advanced rules games or you'd rather see some more vanilla content. We really love to know what people want to see. So yeah, it's um, that's, that's everything, I, I think. Bye then.